by Mountain Dew Ice. So the Hornets need a win. They need a little help. Uh, the only reason, though, they're in this position, Jeremy Lamb not only has stepped into a secondary role, but hit one of the best shots of the season. He's had a good last couple of weeks. Top shots of the year, no particular order, and we will start with Lamb. March 24th, Hornets, Raptors, and this one. This shot was crazy right here. Yeah, that was great defense. <laughs> it was. Raptors, that was. And they was. end up getting beat. That is silly. He's had a couple really good moments. Wow. I haven't seen a half court shot for, him for the win. In a long and time. I know. In a minute. Nice. Matt Barnes had one against us when I was in Detroit. Yeah, he did. And you never forget that, huh? That's got to be. I <laughs> <weird> played for <laughs> me, too, man. How about James Harden? Uh, January 3rd. He had a 44 point triple double up oh. in Oakland, including. This that. shot to wow. me was the shot of the year. In yeah. overtime. Circumstances on the road against Golden State. Your nemesis, a team oh. you're going to have to And go against through. two guys <laughs> yeah. to win. And this is the reason. I believe he's the MVP. Uh, For this shot right here? I don't know about that. 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 He's but that's number the number two <laughs> best. I mean, exactly. <laughs> off that shot. Off that His shot. Resume. <laughs> How about Luka Doncic? Oh, December 23rd. Ooh, that was nasty. Wow. Up in Portland. Did he that get that off? That ball oh, went missing for like two seconds. It yeah, forced overtime. That. Just you got can't rid even, of it? Man, wow. Whoopee. Okay, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's why they're in no particular order, because I, I don't... Who's going to make these decisions? That's Apparently, Paul had it. I mean, I had uh, yeah. Steph Curry, we're not going to have a list of amazing shots and not have Steph Curry on it. Right. February 27th. Uh, oh, wait. No, I don't like this one. Never mind. Uh, Warriors down Ooh. San Antonio. Buzzer beater from inside. The thing about his. Steph, when he Good makes point. these shots, it just doesn't surprise me. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, right. come on. That is three quarters. That's <laughs> the longest. Hey, I don't know. But like, I don't now, care he was where, inside I don't the care other three-point line. I don't you care where he shoots. Oh, wait, that's like, his shot on the other side. I still think it's going in. I agree. Oh, this is, I like This it. was my best one of the Dwayne year. Dwayne Wade. Even though there was a lot of luck. Uh, okay. This one's Oh, no, not this okay. one. No, you don't like this one? No, that, yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it the I, one I, or I, not, Stan? No, it's the one. <laughs> Boom, he gets right. Oh! The king Sons down the there. The king of uh, Wade County. Right. He went yep, out. yep. That was Braid Wade. <laughs> he was, had him. That was crazy. Had him in that this game. Crazy. That was crazy. He had him last night. I see. Uh, oh, see, not last. See, it worked then. It worked, it worked then. Time. Okay, got so older as the year went on. This is the trend. Uh, farewell games and superstars crushing life. So Dwayne Wade last night, home game. He had 30 points in the Heat win. Uh, wasn't enough to get him in the playoffs, but obviously end of an amazing career. The scene was great. And then Dirk Nowitzki also dropping 30 in his last Dallas Swan song. Look at the, the group of dudes that came to honor Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, uh, Scottie Pippen, uh, Detlef Shrimp, and Sean Kemp was out there. Hadn't seen him in a hot minute, Stan. You coached D. Wade. What what will you remember most about his career? Well, the first thing is he made my career. So, well, you know, that players, well, that's what happens. Players <laughs> make coaches' career. And and without him, I mean, who knows what happens. You might be doing TV right next yeah, to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he couldn't. That's because I didn't keep him. I didn't stay with him. But uh, he made my career. But the thing I remember more, most of anything is just the poise and maturity he always had, and it's carried mm -hmm. through his career. But we got him in summer league his first year. Oh. And we're playing, take him out of Marquette as a two guard. We played him at the point because we had Eddie Jones at the two, Karam Butler at the three. We play him in summer league at what? the point, and he hits a buzzer beating game winner to win a summer league game against LeBron right here, oh, both wow. going into their rookie year. And then he's done it so many other times throughout his career. I've said, and I'm sitting next to another one of the greats, but I've said, if I had my choice, anybody that's ever played, I'd put the ball in Dwayne Wade's hands at the end of games. Because of his poise, he always ran the clock down, never going to give you a chance to come <clears> back, <throat> and he made a lot of shots. Yeah, big shot in Paul Pierce. I understand it was tough, <laughs> but but you got to understand where I'm coming from. All you guys did was make life miserable for me. Dwayne yeah. Wade made my career. I'm going with Dwayne Wade. Kind of you love. guys didn't help me. What, by the way, so, two so, legends last night, Johns. Two, two legends, legends it, last night. And, and I know with D. Wade, like, you talked about his, his, his maturity, you know, and his poise. I mean, that was one of the things that I remember most about him. I mean, competing with him in the playoffs in 2006. I thought he really grew up that series. Um, we, 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 we bullied people. We really did. I mean, we couldn't punk this dude. Like, we couldn't <laughs> bully this guy. Like, he, he kept coming no matter what happened. He just, he's amazing. And then, I mean, I feel like he's the third best two guard that I've ever seen in my life and then this guy Dirk I mean 
my biggest memory from him is like when I was in Minnesota, we played them in the playoffs, and I thought KG was like, KG scared everybody. I felt good about his matchup with Dirk. Hmm. Man, Dirk averaged 30 and 15 on KG. Oh, and it, it, wow. was, it was the craziest <laughs> thing ever because I, I just didn't see that coming, you know. But Dirk was, both of those guys were two of the greatest we've ever seen. Paul, um, do you like going down to Miami for vacation and fun? I love it. Okay. Well, oh, of course he does. You, um, you've made quite the impact on that town in the last seven days or so. So much so that you're occupying space in their brains. Did no, you hear this last no, night? No. no, wait, hold on. This is my thing. Oh, they're taking away from he Wade tonight. I mean, this is this guy's last home game. They're taking away. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Come on, this is this is ridiculous. I agree with Paul. This is on ridiculous, this one. though. By the way, yes. they, they shouldn't, agree with they you shouldn't on have that. been saying Paul like, Pierce nothing right. on D Wade's oh, night. Hold on, hold on. Absolutely. As the only person up here that feels comfortable speaking on the behalf of fans, as one right, myself, seriously. this is what we do. Okay, we chant things that are mean. Sometimes no. we hold grudges. No, you for life. Love, love you can do both. You can do both. It's a three-hour event. No, you can do both. There's time well, for everything. Wait, what else did they do then? We, I see it what we put up there. Right? Away from D we put up there. Paul Pierce it, sucks. I think it added to it, quite frankly. Um, but the good news is that not the everyone. Show was you. there chanting. Well, I was chanting in my living room. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you on Instagram cheering with him. I got him to do it. But you have defenders. You do have defenders. Uh, Danny Ainge happens to be one of them. Of course Danny Ainge is. <laughs> Who's a better job. career, Paul Pierce or Dwayne Wade? Well, I'm going to say Paul because I just went into my analytics group the other day and I asked them that question because it just seems a lot of the players feel like Wade was better and so forth, but that wasn't my take. I, I just love the fact that you got so into that discussion that you gathered a group of people to do research on this. I was curious, but I think that Paul, just over the course of his career, was more consistent. <laughs> he made people Daddy, do Daddy numbers. got my back. That's my uh, man. Yeah, he sure does. <laughs> he really did. He sure does. I ain't mad, I'm not mad at Danny on that. Not at all. That's Danny should have. Check the analytics. Just, just like, just like yes. D. Wade made his career. That's right. Danny Ainge is stepping up for the guy that Absolutely pretty much made right. his career. How would you like to be that group that's like, you want us to do what now? We have to go look up numbers to prove what? Hey, why do you think people follow the trends? We started the analytics in basketball <laughs> in Boston. And it trended. You know, we sent Daryl Morey over there to Houston. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so. <laughs> Ainge. Hey, Good job, Austin, I got, Ainge. Hey, <clears throat> if you did a, a chart all over America, D. Wade and Paul, oh, I'm sure you have 49 states in red and one in green, and that's fine. That's fine. You know what I've always said in all of those debates? I don't care if it was Will, Bill Russell or Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, any of the debates. And like this one, I've always said, you pick first, I'll be happy with second pick in that debate. <laughs> uh, really, I mean, you take Dwayne Wade, I take Paul Pierce, I feel good. There is no Everybody loser. wins. No, there's always a loser. No you can't there. lose there's in always that a loser. debate. There was one. Uh, for the first time in seven seasons, the magic will experience the playoffs. Coming up, Chauncey gets specific. And what makes this Orlando team so magical? Nailed it. So <laughs> Very good. How did, you come up? Up. How did you come up with that? I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, coming up, Utah's reigning Defensive Player of the Year lets Jalen Rose know why he's going to repeat and set Paul straight.